What's up guys? Today I've got a pretty easy one, but a pretty common one for you. And today we're going to be replacing the electronic throttle body in this 2005 Pontiac Grand Prix. Okay, and to get started on this, the first thing you're gonna do is remove this engine cover like so with the engine cover out of the way the next thing to do is just to remove this intake boot right here which is just a couple clamps then you've got this PCV air return line which you can just pull off and out of the way like that pull these two together you should be able to get them loose off of both sides that out of there like that then you can actually take your screwdriver and just pop this up a little bit pull back and up at the same time and it comes right off like that then the next thing you're gonna do is just pop these 10 millimeter bolts out and there are four of them It's actually two nuts on the bottom, two bolts on the top. And with those out of the way, the assembly will just slip off. You will lose some coolant from those coolant ports on the bottom, so remember to re-bleed when you're done. Here is the old nasty throttle body, which is having issues. And here is the bright, shiny new throttle body that I just picked up. That is supposed to be by the same manufacturer as the original factory one. So we hope at least that that's true, but these are a pretty pricey piece. So expect you're going to spend a couple dollars on one of these but it's also a very important piece then you're just going to restart this i'm just going to snug them back down with this i try to usually go kind of slow Try to snug them down evenly. Just like that. Then I'm gonna torque these to make sure they're even. I'm not sure off the top of my head what the spec is, but I'm gonna do right about 90 inch pounds which is just enough to make sure it's all the way down and snug, but not so much that you have to worry about stripping or breaking one of these bolts because the O-ring is gonna do the sealing. It does not have to be super tight. Then you're just gonna pop this electrical connector back on like so. Take your intake boot, squeeze it together and squish it in between these two like that making sure that you don't roll the bottom because that's something that happens a lot and will cause problems. You wanna make sure it's all the way on there, all the way around. Then take your PCV line, which in this car is starting to get kinda old and messed up. So I might be looking at replacing that pretty soon too. Then just tighten down these two clamps. And then mechanically, you're done. The only other thing that you may want to do when you do this is uh, either if you have a scanner that can do it or take it to a shop that can do it, have them do the throttle relearn procedure. It's not necessary every time. As a matter of fact, 
this particular time the car is it cranked up and is running fine so i don't need to do that but if you need to that is something a dealership can do for you or a lot of places that scan cars and work on computer stuff so that's pretty much it this was an easy one and a short one but hopefully it helped somebody uh, if it did make sure you hit that like button down there and let me know drop me a comment and let me know what you thought of this and uh, make sure you subscribe so you see the next video i put up which will be later this week and uh, i will see you in that video thank you so much for watching and peace